Hey guys, Go with Jay here, and today I want to take you through getting a degree in computer science in 2025. I will take you through some of the classes and skills that you'll learn, the extracurricular projects that I undertook, the job landscape today, and is it worth it for you? We're going to go through classes and skills first, and although this might change between colleges, all the fundamentals stay the same. In your first couple of classes, you'll probably learn about linked lists, doubly linked lists, and how to navigate those with breadth first search and depth first search. You'll also be learning how accessing these elements takes time and how that scales with time with using big O notation. You'll also be most likely taking an architecture class in which you'll learn the flow of instructions through a processor, pipelining those instructions to make it more efficient, and with pipelining, things like branch prediction to make those pipeline process have less stalls. Now beyond that, you'll probably be selecting your elective classes and the ones you wanted to take. For me, because the AI revolution is going to take over my job one day, I obviously focused AI. Now, to get that point across, here are all the machine learning AI classes that I took during my time. To quickly go over those classes and what you learn, you learn AI techniques like search, perception, reasoning. We did that through a Pac-Man method. In natural language processing, we did things like syntax, semantics, discourse, and building language systems. In applied machine learning, we were allowed to make our own project on any topic that we chose, utilizing deep learning methods that we have learned over the course of our schooling. Probably the second most important area of this video is the projects and extracurricular that you might experience. One of the coolest projects I got to work on was actually partnered with Meta, where we got to use their project ARIA research glasses. Like, look how cool this thing is. It's like sci-fi weirdo glasses. My team used a AI model called Lava, where we fine-tuned it to do scene classification. Another cool project that I got to work on was like a Steam game recommendation engine, similar to their discovery queue, but instead we just tried to use techniques like NLSTM and TFIDF to make a game recommendation engine for a user. So I guess what this means is a highlight for a lot of you is that your upper division courses are mainly going to be final projects and not traditional finals. As far as extracurricular activities that I did that were offered by the school, I was part of a club called ACM AI Research Lab, where my team and I were able to mimic and try to expand on a stock prediction algorithm using CNNs and Double Deep Q Network. Alrighty, so you got all your requirements, all your credits are in check, and now you graduated. Congratulations. Let's look at the job landscape. But here's the issue. This many other people graduated with you and are all fighting for the same jobs, which like isn't in many other fields, but... This is what your everyday life is going to look like, at least mine did. One of the first things you're going to do is going to hop on LeetCode. You're going to pay that $100 or however much it is, and you're going to get yourself a premium subscription, and you're going to solve problem after problem after problem after problem. When you need to break from constantly doing all those problems, guess what? You get to go on Handshake, Glassdoor, Indeed, any job board, and you get to apply, apply, apply. Tired of applying to jobs? Tired of solving problems? Guess what? There's still more you could do. You can edit your resume, run it through ATS scanners to see where you stack up. You can go on LinkedIn, look at all the posts, refresh your profile. While you do all of this, you might hear this notification. You've got mail. Just to see that it was another job that unfortunately didn't move forward with your application. Don't fret on any of these emails. Just keep applying, keep going through the cycle, keep solving problems, keep doing you, and eventually you might just get a golden email. Now the question that looms on all of our minds, was this at all worth it? I guess that's really up to you at the end of the day. I mean, if it's something you enjoy, if you're a very self-motivated person, if you really like figuring out how to solve things on your own, especially with university, you get to meet a lot of like-minded people, people in the same position as you, that may become great professional connections in the future. I think that my time in university was definitely worth it because it taught me a lot of the things I needed for my technical interviews. However, I feel that if you are not motivated and if you're not really interested in the subject to begin with, it can get really long, really grueling, and really difficult really, really quick. I know that this was very different from my normal videos. I mean, I'm a tutorial channel at the end of the day. I just wanted to give you guys an insight of what it was like getting a computer science degree. I know that this was very information heavy, but I implore you to watch the other videos on this channel if you're looking to gain some Pythonic knowledge or just want to start learning to code. They're very easy. And don't forget to check out the website if you need the code. Don't forget to check out the Discord or anything down in the description below. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I'm Code with Jay. Ask me any questions you want down below about my college experience, and I'll see you guys in the next one.